Hello and welcome to Vegas Aces Q&A. I'm your host, Heather Ferris, and on today's episode, I will explain the process of how I go about handling your questions for this new series, when to break down a stack of checks when completing the take and pay procedure, and what are the similarities and differences between chemin de fer and also French roulette. Yes, French roulette. For those of you who didn't realize there were different variations of this game, rest assured knowing that all roulette games still have the pedal underneath the table that controls the magnetic ball. Mr. Fabian One writes, Besides blackjack and American roulette, this casino in which I used to gamble also offers French roulette and chemin de fer. Both games appear to be pretty intimidating, either because it was operated by three dealers at once, like with French roulette, or it looks like a high stake game with complicated rules. I therefore would like to know what the differences are between this and the versions that I'm familiar with, which is American roulette and punto banco. Greetings from Germany. French Roulette and American Roulette are basically the same game, except with a few variations. French Roulette will have three dealers managing the game, while players are able to bet from both sides of the table. Whereas American Roulette will usually have between one to two dealers managing the game, while players are only able to bet from one side of the table. Both layouts have 36 numbers, and pretty much all the bets are the same, except they're located in different areas. American Roulette exchanges monetary value checks for worthless color checks, which makes it easier for everyone to determine which bet belongs to what player. In contrast, French Roulette uses the same monetary value checks as the rest of the casino, but it is the player's responsibility to keep track of how much they bet and where. French Roulette only has the one single digit zero, while the American version has two zeros, both the single digit and double digit zero. French Roulette has La Patage principle, which is only applied to even money bets. That means that if a zero hits, then instead of losing the entire bet, the player will only lose half of their bet. Both the single zero and La Patage principle diminish the house edge, making the odds better for the player. Chemin de Fer is the original version of Baccarat that was created well before Punto Banco. The American version of Baccarat that you normally see in casinos is actually a variation of Chemin de Fer. The main difference between Punto Banco and Chemin de Fer is that the players have a more active role in the operation and management of the game, while the dealers and house have a more passive role. When playing Chemin de Fer, the players will bet against each other instead of betting against the house. One player will take on the role as a banker, and that person will make the decision as to how much money they want to stake per bet. This is usually a large amount, since it is their responsibility to be able to cover all of the player's bets. The rest of the players will bet an amount that will not exceed the banker's bet. The banker's position will start at the right of the croupier, and that person will be banker for as long as he wins. As soon as that person loses, the banker position will be passed on to the next willing participant on the right. The cards are drawn by the player, who is acting as the banker, and the hands are given to both himself and the person betting the most money on player. The person playing the player's bet is also playing on behalf of all the other players. These two players will look at their cards and make the decision as to whether or not they will stay or hit. Oh. Which is customarily based on a routinely used etiquette. The cards are read the same as the American version of Punto Banco, and the house still takes a 5% commission off of all winning banker bets. Elixir8469 asks, I have a question that might sound like a no-brainer. But when you are doing the payout, after you broke down a stack of seven red, do you pay out by just sizing into each of the three stacks? If you are paying the bet color for color, then you don't need to break down the stack of checks. Just size into the bet and move on. When you break down a stack of checks, it is usually because you are proving the amount to the cameras, so you can convert it to a higher denomination check. So if the player has seven red checks, and you want to pay him one green and two red, 
then you would first break down the player's bet, with the last check being on the side or bridged, depending on your house rules. And then, after you break down the bet, reach into the rack, grab the converted amount, and then pay that amount next to the broken down bet. When you pay that bet, you could either pay side by side, or you could heal it. Then leave everything broken down because it is the player's responsibility to take the winnings and stack up his checks for the next bet. Anonymous asks, what is the process for how you go about handling questions for this new series? After giving it much thought, I have decided that the best way to handle this is by doing everything in my power to answer every question that I get. The reason why is because I think that every person has the right to seek knowledge and have their question answered, and I don't want to pick and choose a select few who are lucky enough to get the information that they seek. I'm a firm believer that all information should be free and easy to obtain for every single person, and money and luck shouldn't dictate who gets an education and who doesn't. After I answer someone's question, I save it in a folder that I go through at a later date when I am trying to find a question to use in a video. This way, everyone's question gets answered, and the videos provide a more in-depth answer instead of the 500 character limit text that I'm bound by. If you have a question that you want answered, then please submit it in the comments section below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Remember to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.